Hi guys, we're back here with English with your lesson five, which is actually going to be lesson four in the book called A Special Present. And I'm starting here with your first task uh, of uh, this lesson, and that is to watch this video and to click like, uh, telling me that you've seen it. You can like it on YouTube if you want to, but the most important thing for me is that you like it in Teams. So it's like a feedback information for me that you've seen the video. Okay. So starting with task A, uh, we have a list of words uh, which of things actually which people usually get as present or buy as present for their loved ones. Uh, I think you should know all the words in the list. Uh, let's take a look at what we have. We have a doll, a box of chocolates, a bunch of flowers, a DVD, a mobile phone, a book, a computer game, a PlayStation. A lip gloss, um, I don't know if you know what lip gloss is, it means just jajlo za usne. Pajamas, a mug, now what's a mug? It's a big cup, like the one with the smiley face here in the book, it just means šalica. And finally, a toy action hero, it's like uh, Spider-Man or Captain America. And I like to say it's a Barbie doll for boys. Uh, okay, and you have here uh, four groups of questions that you have to think about. Have you ever got any of these things above as a present? When was it? Who was it from? Which of these things would you like to get? Is there anything you wouldn't like to get? Which of these would you choose as a present for your best friend? Is there anything you would choose for someone in your family? Just think about these questions a little bit. To think about the presents that you got uh, in the past. Uh, which brings us to task B, which is also a task that you have to get back to me. The question here is, what is the best present you have ever got? So think about it hard, okay? So what was it? What made you the, the happiest? And who was it from? Uh, so there will be a post in Teams, especially for this one. And you will write your reply there. I'm also going to write mine as an example, so you can just follow uh, after me. Okay, uh, task C. Uh, we have a, a short text here uh, from Buzz, okay, the school newspaper. And uh, it says here, Sarah, Celia, Simon, and Brian wrote about their presence. There is a mistake in the book. It should be Sarah, Celia, Adrian, and Brian wrote about the presents that have been special to them. So please cross out the, the name Simon and write the name Adrian here in the task. So what should you do? You should read the text and decide who uh, is writing about what, who uh, uh, writes about which present. So I know that some of you don't have the CD, so I will just uh, read the text for you so that you can listen to them. So just, just listen and write here on these lines, next to numbers, one, two, three, four, write the name of the person who you think is talking. So number one, I love getting DVDs, especially ones with James Bond's adventures. This British spy is one of my favorite heroes. He is intelligent, brave, and invincible. He drives the coolest cars, wears the smartest clothes, uses the most amazing gadgets fights the bad guys, and always arrives in time to save the world. No wonder all the pretty girls fall for him. 2. I still remember my first Barbie doll. She was wearing a long shiny party dress and a tiara. She looked like a princess. Combing her long blonde hair and changing her flashy clothes was my favorite game. I used to carry her around everywhere, until one day I came home crying. While I was playing in the park, my heroine mysteriously disappeared. She ran away with Ken, my mom said. 3. My dad used to call me Sherlock, as my favorite hobby was examining ants, breadcrumbs, and our cat's fur with his magnifying glass. So Sherlock was my hero long before I met him in one of the Conan Doyle novels I got for my birthday. He was the most famous detective and the world's first forensic scientist. Nothing could ever escape his powers of observation and deduction. 4. Books have always been my favorite presents, but there is one that was really special. It was Bambi. The sweet little fawn whose mother was killed by hunters became my hero. He was clever, gentle, and a real friend. He was strong enough to face all troubles 
and finally became the king of the forest and the king of my heart. Okay, so I hope that you have decided who it is. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you the answers. Right now, I don't want to spoil it for you, so just think about it a little bit. It's not so difficult, okay? Uh, and here, as you can see in yellow, I've highlighted the new words, so let's just quickly go through them. So the first word that I have is the word invincible, okay? So invincible means when nobody can beat you, when you are like a superhero, it means nepobiediv. Then, if you remember, we mentioned this. When we say that clothes are smart, smart clothes, it doesn't mean that they're intelligent. It just means that they're elegant, nice, fancy clothes, smart clothes, elegantna odiecha. Then, for Barbie, we have a tiara. What is a tiara? It's like a small crown. Usually a princess has it. Little girls always have those costumes with the tiara on it. So it's like a piece of jewelry. Sometimes uh, women wear them at their weddings. So a tiara, it means also in Croatian, we call it tiara. In text number three, we have breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are those small pieces falling of bread when you eat it. It means mrvica kruha. A magnifying glass. So every detective should have a magnifying glass. Uh, this is something that makes objects look bigger. It means povechalo. A forensic scientist. It means forensicar. I know that you watch all those TV shows on TV, like CSI and so on. So forensic scientist. And what does a good detective do? He observes and deducts. Observation means looking at things very carefully. Promatranje. And deduction means making logical conclusions. Deduction means zaključivanje. And finally, in text 4 about Bambi, uh, what is Bambi? Bambi is a fawn, a little fawn. This is the animal in the picture. It means lane. And finally, to face troubles means not to run away, but to deal with them. To face trouble, it means suočiti se sa problemima, sa poteškoćama. Okay, so guys, I want you to open the document, list the new words, and copy that document in your notebooks. This brings us to task D here on page 92. The question is, do Sarah, Celia, Adrian, and Brian have anything in common with their heroes? You will also have a special post in Teams for this exercise, so please choose one person and just tell me something that they have in common with their heroes. Just talk about it, write a comment in that section. Uh, okay. So I, to I told you that I'm going to tell you the answers to this uh, exercise. So in text number one, this was, of course, Brian. In text number two, this is nobody else but Celia. In text number three, this is our detective, Adrian. And in text number four, the girl who likes libraries, this is the text about Sarah. Okay, you have one more exercise in the book here left in exercise E. Again, the new words, invincible, gadget magnifying glass, fur, forensic, observation, deduction, and fawn. So please just circle A, B, or C. What do you think is correct? And you are finished with the book. You have also uh, exercises in the workbook. So do them. Uh, and as always, uh, everything that you have to get back to me is written in red. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in chat. So I hope I was clear enough. So till next time, bye-bye.